I tried that thing, but I couldn't think of a thing. It didn't yet. work. But oh. what is working is the stream. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> hey. So we have DG versus Edos, both with massive, ma massive, massive smiles on their faces. We also have Ken in the background. Hi, Ken. Now, did you tell me that uh, Edos is one of those people that he doesn't quite know, like? How to fight just yet? Yeah, you can see him analyzing him with yeah, those eyes. He, he's he like, is a very smart boy. He's he's thinking very hard. Ken, and <laughs> what is Ken up to? He's that cheeky man. Damn. <laughs> uh, sorry, pilot is uh, showing us memes. Ken, what are you doing? Ken should wave to the camera. Is this Ken this is a camera? The both of them. <laughs> what is Ken up to? You know, the uh, madman. I'm thinking that uh, DG is probably going to want to keep Edosh at a distance. Yeah. And Edosh is obviously going to get, gonna get yeah. in. Like, the thing to remember is that, um, at least with Zero, he always goes to uh, Sheik versus Luigi. He doesn't okay. really play Diddy. So, so I can imagine this is an okay matchup. Yeah. And is this a the button check? Or, uh, yeah, this yeah it check. seems to be. But yeah, the thing to remember with both characters is both of them have a ridiculous combo game. Just Luigi can kill really, really early. Look at Swaggins, he's kind of puking over Edash's shoulder. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and me. <laughs> Ken, Ken and Swaggins both like just really the stream. forever alone. Swaggins looking 16 now that he doesn't have a beard. That's right, you stole it, you fake it. I mean, hey, at least I look older than Swaggins now. <laughs> That's true. Well, he used to always look older than me, even though I'm pretty sure he's younger. I hope you guys love this really professional dope commentary we've got here. All this right. is like our standard. I think it's because we're not tired enough yet. I say as you're yawning. I'm yawning, sorry. Let's go. Game all right, one. All right. Game it's one. Etty. Um, see, group stage for both them, but it's definitely better stage for Sheik, I'd say. I imagine needles are going to go straight through fireball. Yep. Uh, um, needles are going to be really good on this day. Um, he's going to be able to take advantage of Luigi's uh, landing a, a lot here. Yeah. Whereas, like, Luigi, Cheek, there's so many different landing options. I don't think Luigi will be able to do much against that. So I feel like this was DG's choice. I don't know who won RPS, but I feel like this was DG's choice. And at the start, Udosh had DG kind of pushed to the edge of the stage, yeah. and he's getting some good close quarters oh, that he yeah. hits in. But um, yeah, DG's just doing a good job of keeping them out. Like he said, that's what he wants. Yeah, but Udosh, at the same time, yeah. is maintaining pressure on yeah. him. Yeah, but do you see what I mean about like Sheik's landings? Like, Luigi does not have the mobility to keep up with Sheik in the air, uh -huh. so he's not really able to punish landings too much. Yeah. That landing Ooh, with the Luigi Cyclone yeah, catches everyone really off guard. That was really good, and that's, and yeah, really that's, that's definitely a slot. Okay, so... Edos, like, he's doing a good job of pressing once he gets in. He just needs to continue to get in. And, oh, I keep forget. I always forget that, like, the Luigi's can hold John the jump and still recover after that. So it's like, I keep thinking, oh, no, he's dead. And, oh, good air dodge. So Slightly... Be, oh, is that gonna, DG, no, where are you no. going? Yeah, DG. Okay. I was sorry, DG had just like killed himself. Oh no, yep. Good uh, weight, good weight, but not quite living. yet. Sheet killing, not, no. no. No, not a thing. I don't think you ever want to really air dodge against Sheik if she's trying to get you with the up air or no. bash. You probably just want to jump away. Yeah, I think so as well, honestly. But I'm kind of surprised because, oh, well, I mean, there, uh, DG's getting a lot of his edge guards in, um, but Edos is, is still making it back fairly. Yeah. Oh, good backer. That almost killed. It was almost like the DS patch one. And he just ignores those needles, but is he, yeah. he's in a bad position here. He was trying to yeah. be greedy there. Back to bounce Oh, no, no, no. Actually, and that the makes Nair's sense. going to do it. And DG hasn't taken any percent from that. No, that wow. So DG's long. pressure, though. Like, he went from 65 to killing him. That was crazy. Like, I thought DG yeah. was kind of slipping a wee bit at the start but well, no D is DG's like so good at like bringing things back yeah like DG doesn't really have a disadvantage thing as a player <laughs> he doesn't though well no I think He's if so someone caught. does something really unorthodox that yeah. he doesn't expect oh, I think yeah. that kind of it doesn't tilt yeah, him but, but it does so, throw him up. but he's a very good player for comebacks very adaptable yeah. Yeah. very good down smash out of shield and he's definitely adapting to Edosh at the moment yeah. he's kind of anticipating a lot of what he's doing yeah and now he's Edos bringing a lot more 
of a um, boxing game this yeah. time. Yeah. Like I think he's realised that like camping. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> but like he's being a lot more selective instead of just trying right. to keep him away all the time. He know he's approaching when he needs to and keeping Idos out when he needs to. And Idos is struggling to actually get the full proper close quarters hits. That he yeah, needs. because DG's getting those close quarter hits beforehand. Yeah. So it's very good adaptation, but that yeah. upbeat was questionable. Punish. You know, it's not able to really punish that hard though. So. Yeah, it's difficult when you've not got him at the right percent, and that's yeah. going to do yeah, it. Yeah, that was really good play though with DG. Really good play from DG. So good DG adaptation, definitely. Had, uh, less fireballs yeah. came from Enos because he was in such a disadvantaged yeah. state against yeah. Cheek. DG looking very the same, honestly. He doesn't really, he's not, doesn't really show much emotion when he's playing. No, uh, no, he, I can, I can yeah. tell. He, he, he said to me before the tournament, like he obviously wants to win this. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he does, does as well. But like DG is just kind of. I he like, really yeah. wants. To. DG definitely is one of the, I'd say, people with the highest chance of beating Jack and winning. Yeah. Out of anyone. Yeah. Him and uh, Jack, those are the three I'd say most likely. Maybe Moke as well. Yeah. Edos is obviously up there too, but I'd say they're the most likely. Yeah. What is going on over there? <laughs> something broke yeah, over there, I don't know like, what. I also anyway. hope that um, it's only Puyo Puyo Tetris and that the rivals sign up <laughs> right now, because if, if I miss rivals, that's going to... You're real upset. Not really, but I'll be it's like this one. Alright, okay, so Edos so opening up with a great start again, like last game. It's and just, uh, can he yeah. keep it? But like, only taking 5% and he's had some really good strings so far, but... Ah, uh, he was the Sheik first. That was a situation where he tried to throw out something to get yeah. DG off of his back, but um, he ended up just yeah. putting himself in worse position. Which, you can't really challenge Sheik scenarios. You've got to just kind of accept them yeah. and then wait like, to it, get back The thing on. is, like, they do ha especially Fer has a lot of a landing lag, an end lag, but it also can, has really early interruptible frames, so... Yeah. It's just, you don't really challenge them. You, it's, I get why he was, but... Yeah. It's, like, just so difficult. I know DG has a slight lead after just because he was able to get all those strings and push him across the stage. And oh, okay, DG was expecting Edos to jump, which to be fair, Edos was jumping into him a lot last game. Yeah, it's not going to do it, but Almost. he's at a bad position. Yeah. Um, like DG's adaptation is it's so scary. Nuts. Yeah. Because the, oh, oh, Jesus, I thought I was going to do it, oh, and that's back, probably we, it because. Yeah. 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 Like even if that wasn't gonna kill, I don't see Edos making it back. Yeah, he had lost he, his he, jump. He had lost his jump, and he was so far away. Yeah, um, and about yeah, we're going back to DG's adaptation. Like yes. it looked shaky at first, but then again, he's just like both games, he's had a deficit. Yeah, but, at first, and then he's kind of yeah. just like the biggest change in his game plan is he's just been a lot more aggressive. Oh, that might be that's, it. That's it. He had his Jeez. jump, but yeah, that was it. Well, so DG, two worry it for nothing. Yeah, he just stops. two stops him. Yeah, the savage. I know. Well played to both of yes. them. I mean, Enosh putting in a good fight.